Um, out of the uh, out of the three games, this one came out first. Then the then eventually, or maybe a month or two later, the first one, and then like like two or three years later, the or, or around that time or whatever, however many years later, the second one finally comes out, and I'm just like, what is the deal with that? Did they, did they have do they run in trouble with copyright with with the second one? They, there is a lot of lines that are repeated in this one from the second one. So what what's the deal? <laughs> but in, in any case, it's you know it's it's been out for a few years now. But it took it like between this one and the first one coming out, it took a few years, and then eventually. So yeah, you can swim in this one. Um, you obviously have air, and yes, I will tr like the second one. I will try to beat this. I will try to get through this without using cheats. Try, but I know I kind of failed at that in the second one where I eventually put in cheats. Um, but you know, it's you know, it, it's just like. <laughs> um, it's just the problem is I'm on a timed thing and I have discussed how I was going to discuss releasing a um, some time releasing a uh, video talking about when is cheating you know when is it good to when is it okay to cheat in video games um, so yeah I have mentioned that in my other Gex playthrough All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that. Possibly went a little silent there, and then, um, you know, went silent, and then, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Then I pause. Then we pause it anyway. So, yeah. Um, I forgot what was exactly what I was talking about, but yeah, I'll just sometime in the future, I'll try to, uh, if I haven't already, I'll try to. Uh, Make a video talking about when it's when discussing you know when a possibly good time to actually cheat in a video game is. And like I said, I definitely would not encourage cheating in real life on anything, unless it was just an absolute dire like I've discussed it before on here. But you know, like I said, like a mass majority of the time, it is not okay to cheat in real life. Um, on anything. Um, <coughs> let's see. Let's come here, penguins. Now, these first few levels are actually not too hard. Some of them seem to kind of dry. I think this is part of why I didn't like this one as much as as the second one some of these levels do last a bit long um, in some regards it just it can just take a while I guess one thing you could say about these uh, fly coin things uh, the way they have it now is at least they don't disappear because it is a requirement to um, Wait, did they disappear? In the yeah, they did disappear in the second one. Uh, but that's because they, there was an, a, sort of an unlimited number of uh, ones in um, the second one. But it depends. But like in this one, there's only a hundred. <laughs> only a hundred. Um, let's see. I think there's, yeah, there's fly coins here. I think if you do this, if you go through all these, you'll get, there we go, yeah, you'll get this over here, okay, the rest are over there, I was about to say, is there only like five, or is there only like four, 
There we go. Yeah, you don't, you don't, you only get, you also only get one type of remote. They, they cut it down because, like, um, I guess it's sort of easier just to have one collectible, one or two types of collectibles. Well, technically there's like three different types of collectibles, it's just three and a half, four, sometimes <laughs> ten, no, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, there's four different types of collectibles in this game. Like, there's... Okay, every time I'm going to say it, I'm going to think of another collectible. There's five all together, actually. If you count the the secret bonus round stuff. So... Um... I'm just going to stop talking about it now. That was interesting. They just scream it in your face. Congratulations, you won! You know, like, with the music, I mean. Um, so yeah, and I know what to do for the next, uh, couple ones, so shouldn't take too long. Oh, let's see. Well, yes it is. Uh, yeah, let's whack the, ev the evil elves or whatever. They were called the snowboarding elves. And of course we can do this. We've already been through here, so we know what to do, but I missed a pop print, apparently. Um, also seems to be a lot of lag in this one. Like, not saying there was no lag in the second one, but there seems to be, at least from what I've noticed, there seems to be a little bit more la lag in this one. At least, like, from moments like that. Um, because, uh, oh, well, I'm not sure the reason. Maybe they just didn't do well. Anyway, um. But yeah, there's, there's a little bit more lag in this one. And, um... What else was I gonna say? Uh... Oh yeah, it's not because of, um... Usually when things, when games lag, uh, the PS1 games lag on here, it's because I'm playing it, like, the digital version on PS3. Took a little bit for, uh... It's been taking a little bit for me to be able to, like, jump up and, you know, not... Or jump up out of the water, I should say. Um... I don't know, worry, I don't have any reason to kill you guys. I guess it's good in a way, like, they just have hazards here. The, the elves, well, they do throw some... Some of them do throw snowballs. But basically, this is, like, one of the easiest levels that's not the training level. Or, you know, that's an actual level, I should say. Which is probably why they have it first, and... You know, it's, it's got that holiday cheer, you know, Christmas cheer. Um... <laughs> they'll call it holiday, even though it's basically Christmas stuff. Not anything, almost not anything else but Christmas, and they still call it holiday. Um... Anyway, um... Though Gex does mention other holidays, so I guess that could be excused. I... I'd, I'd say, um... The fog is not quite as... <laughs> I'd say the fog is not quite as present in the uh, N64 version. It's probably still there, but it's not quite as present. Um... Sometimes that these guys can get a little annoying to kill. There is a, a mini game or like a bonus game where you have to where it's nothing but trying to kill all the elves in, t in like a certain amount of time. <laughs> Man.
and the loading screen won't come back up until uh, the music's done. <sighs> but yeah, after you beat... Oh, there we go. Uh, but after you beat at least one... <laughs> Let's get the last one. Um, defeat Evil Santa. Um, but every time you beat one... At least, at least one of the uh, get at least one remote. That's not the fly coin one. Um, in each level, you'll have a certain cutscene like that, which is a little nice little touch. You know, I just kind of wish it was for more than just talking to Asian Extra. But unfortunately, a spoilers. That's all it is. There is one other cutscene that's um, you know. Not just talking to uh, Agent Extra. I can't remember for sure. I was thinking somewhere I read that she was like a a Playboy bunny or something. I don't remember for sure. <laughs> we oh <laughs> wait wait oh I can't do it there. It's not like a straight wall so. Let's see. Beware of elves. Maybe you don't like fall back like you do in the second. I, I think sometimes you do, but oh, and also um, something else I forgot to mention. Gex has different costumes per um, level he goes to. Like in this game, he is never actually in his uh, just in his regular outfit. Ah, sorry, I'm a little off today, apparently. There we go. And if you play the N64 version, his voice is... You're on the list. We'll see if he gets his head cut off. Nope. Yes, sometimes, uh, if you die enough, he, um, he will, uh... Sometimes if you get hit by something like that, at least in this version, he will, his head will come off sometimes. Like it'll, it'll get cut off. Let's see. Oh, I'll save that for when I ever actually get hit. You're on the list. Ow. Let's see, and hit it. And of course, it's three times. Well, anyway, yeah, that's the evil Santa fight, and we've always tried to get over there, but have not yet done that. At least, not that I know of that I can remember. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so, Evil Santa, that was a fight. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to kill you this time around. We get it, Gex. Let's see. And... We're done with the Christmas level. Unless there's some bonus coins in a... Fine. Um, we're done with that for now. Let's go ahead and do one of these, actually. Now, this one isn't Christmas-themed. This one's actually sort of its... So yeah, this time around we've got... Hey, there's a dog there. It's like a printed on dog or a textured on dog. Ew. Yeah, this one is kind of like... This one's kind of weird. We will hear this music later on though.
Yeah, they just wanted to give you an interesting little thing. Gosh, Gex is huge. If this is a kangaroo and he's like, you know, big right there. Well, be patient now. I guess I already hit that one. Yeah, it, bonus levels are kind of, you know, like... Concentrate on where the bells are. Oh, does this jingle your bells? Oh, more time. I guess I missed a couple bells? I don't know. Let's check that out. I know I hit these as I hit them again. See, I think I hit that one. Yeah. Uh. Um, I think I hit this one. Yeah. Yeah, don't rush me. Stupid idiot. Uh. Hit that one. No, I didn't. And that you don't have to like go back to anywhere like some of the other bonus rounds. Um, yeah, right there, it's just giving you a code of um, like what to put in or what you can put in. And um, whenever you open the spoiler, it's for whenever you open the uh, the thing, the vault. And I guess at this point I could I could also show you um, the uh, let's see let me go to it let's see and wait there we go well, one thing I really like about this is. There's just a bunch of weapons, like guns and stuff right there. And, uh, let's... Let's do it as Gex this time around. Just because. Oh, and there's Mushu Pork driving the thing again. So yeah, this is very... This is very similar to, um... Oh, you have to collect 50 of these. But sometimes it seems like they're just... They're so far apart. Now see, this one's more fitting for a T-rated game. Let's see. Oh, that's it. Okay, that's also it. I don't know for sure. Um, crazy. This taxi is crazy. There's a dead guy. See. Hold on. These may have more than one in, in them. Ah, come here. Yeah, they do. They have three. That's gonna be lovely to try and do. Hold on. Uh oh, we already did that. Wait. Wee. Alright. Um. Yeah, come here. Here. And I think it's an instant kill. If you get hit. No, it's just a. It pushes you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of freaky, though, like how big it is and just like it just comes at you. Let's 
I think that's, I think when it comes to stuff like that, it like used to freak me out because it was like a low poly, well, I mean, understandably low poly stuff back in the day, and then like they would just come right at you. It was such a big. I don't know. I used to get scared about certain little things as a kid, <laughs> certain weird things as a kid. Well, I guess a kid would be scared of like a giant thing. It's like they think dinosaurs would be cool, but it's like, but well, then when they actually see one, it's like, ah, yeah, <laughs> something like that. Anyway, the rest are over here, I believe. Yep. Now this one, you do have to go over and collect something like that. So now that we have that. I shall show you what it does. Like I mentioned before. So you get you get the little thing there. So when you come out of here, you'll see over here. Oh yeah, and that unlocks that. I forgot to get that a long time ago. But yeah, this um that right there. The weird camera stuff. Anyway. Before we go in through the red thing, we shall do some of these levels. And by the way, a little secret over here. Something we're not going to do, but I don't plan on doing all the bonus stuff. Okay, so there's a thing in here that really used to confuse me. It's like, okay, so you've got, you've got to get up there and over there to get those. I've tried. I remember as a kid, I tried so much to get up here. I tried everything. I just didn't. I couldn't figure it out. And uh, get a little freaked out by the moose. Um, and uh, then we have uh, crocodile, I think. Um, and then eventually, I was like, "Oh, hey, look at this picture of Gex. Ha ha, he's a vampire." Oh, look at that. I get a power-up as a vampire. <laughs> and then if you hit the R2 button on the PlayStation version, it's... He does that. Now, of course, you still gotta get it at a good angle to... <laughs> you still gotta get a good angle to uh, get up here. Well, hold on just a minute, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be right back. 